After the death of Sun Yizhang in 1925, Chiang Kai-shek became the leader of the Kuomintang, or the Nationalist Party. In charge of the Chinese Communist Party was Mao Zedong, who soon became China's greatest revolutionary leader. Now, history has told us that Chiang Kai-shek, who was in command of 700,000 soldiers, attempted to eliminate all communists with an attack on the communist stronghold. Realizing that the nationalists surrounded the base, Mao Zedong, along with 100,000 other communists, fled the battle and traveled along the 6,000 mile long journey, which came to be called the Long March. After a little more than a year, Mao and seven to 8,000 survivors settled in the caves of northwestern China. There, they healed from the attack and gained new followers. Eventually, Mao and the Chinese Communist Party won the Chinese Civil War and transformed China into a communist country. Once Mao was in power, peasants, landlords, businessmen, anybody who was in support of the Kuomintang was publicly beaten and executed. This resulted in a lot of lives lost and a degress in China's economy since all businessmen and company employees were executed because of their support towards the Kuomintang. So now this poses a question. What would have happened if Chiang Kai-shek had won the Chinese Civil War and retained control of China? Well, first of all, China's economy would be flourishing. All the businessmen, employees, landlords that were executed by Mao would still be alive because they supported the nationalists. One of the most dramatic changes would be during the Vietnam War. During the war, millions of lives were lost, both U.S. and Vietnamese forces. Vietnam was supplied by Chinese communist forces to fight the war. Had the nationalists still been in power, this never would have happened, thus reducing the amount of lives lost during the war. These are the two most important changes that would have happened had the nationalists remained in power, and I believe that China would be a more successful country had it remained a nationalist country. A lot of lives would have been saved, and China's economy would be way better off than it is now. But again, these are only what ifs. So, basically, I'm saying that China would have been a better country had Chiang Kai-shek put Mao Zedong in check. Thank you, and I hope that you think about this just as much as I do. Which is a lot.